What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Curse Garage. So today we are taking the Aston Martin to Addison's restaurant for a quick drive and check out some cars at Addison's restaurant. So yeah, today is a little bit rainy, but hopefully uh, the road condition uh won't be too bad over there but anyway all right let's get the car started right, have the crystal key here Ho -ho. the 4.7 v8 is alive all right guys so yesterday we went to the end of pandemic car meet in San Jose and today uh, nothing re is really going on here in the Bay Area except there's a Vault Auto Club Sunday at CC Cafe but it's like pretty far away from Sunnyvale it's like almost one hour so it's like two hour round trip with like close to 120 miles uh, and it's pretty early so I missed it but anyway next weekend we're looking at 408 Garage Open House um, and also uh, Melon Parkers and Coffee. Now, I the 408 Garage Open House is a very interesting event. Uh, the owner, I believe, um, they have uh, Oscar Martin Vantage as well, but it's a newer model. And they also, I think they went on Gold Rush Rally with the Aston Martin and the Lotus Evora. So, yeah, very interesting cars. We have seen that uh, their cars at Morgan Hill once a long time ago but anyway guys uh, as you can see it's raining today um, not much going on in the Bay Area so let's go to Addison's check it out um, I'm pretty much sure there are some very nice cars over there so yeah it never disappoints right, guys so right now I'm on 7th gear just cruising on highway one thing I do notice is that the steering wheel of the Aston Martin Vintage is really heavy and when I say that I mean it's really heavy it's beyond um, how can I put this like you know some cars that does not have power steering like Alfa Romeo 4C now this car feels heavier than cars that does not come with a power steering um, right now I'm driving like 80 and you can see there's not a single vibration or movement on the steering wheel at all and it is very tight very accurate and i can tell you this um i'm i right now i'm used to this sensation i don't think i can drive any other car that has a loose or very light steering wheel and you really need to drive this car to understand what i'm talking about because this car just give you a very direct um unfiltered steering response that you basically I I mean I drove a lot of different cars you you cannot copy this from other vehicles even you know the Ferrari 45A the Lamborghini Huracan um, they don't feel like this car at all I mean this steering wheel is <laughs> very unique uh, you really need to have uh, you really need to be an ex BMW driver to get used to this uh, kind of steering wheel. I mean, BMW steering wheels are pretty heavy, but this one, I can tell you right now, this one is at least at least 20 to 30 times heavier than a standard BMW M car steering wheel in M mode. So, yeah, hey guys. So the check engine light is on. This is actually uh, the code for a summer stand. As you guys can see, my Water temperature is very low. Um, I believe the summer starter has been stuck in open position. They're causing, you know, the cooling system to circulate way too early. And yeah, and that's why the check engine light came out. So what we are going to do is actually bring up my uh, scanner here, clear the code, uh, and we'll have the summer start fixed later on this week. Right, guys, I have my scanner on. Let's check the code. 
So to do the summer start on the Vantage is actually pretty easy. Uh, the part is not that expensive. It's like a hundred bucks and um, shouldn't take that long. So let's read the code. And looks like, yep, we have the uh, code here and also have a pending O2 sensor code, which it's still panning, so we're just gonna clear the code and uh, I'm pretty much sure the summer stack code will come out, but I'm gonna wait for the uh, auto sender code to uh, to erase later, so yeah. All right guys, so we made it to Addisys and I just talked to a couple friends here and he has this beautiful Cayman S manual and this car is pretty light and he said that uh, with second gear, he's able to reach 70 miles an hour, so it's pretty impressive. So, my other friend also has this 997-911.1. It's also a manual, pretty nice. Uh, I just love this generation, it's very popular. Uh, looks pretty cool too. Okay, so it turns out our friends, uh, uh, it's also here, we have the the M2 here. Uh, we have a beautiful E92 M3. We also have an M4 Coupe. Man, those cars are beautiful, especially the M2 and the E92. Really like the uh, the wheels on it. This looks like we also have a yellow C8. Pretty nice. And looks like it's uh, uh, not a Z06, but I wouldn't mind having one. I'm actually surprised to see uh, all the Beamer friends here. Uh, and of course, we parked it across the street from the trading post. And check it out we have a Lucy here, and we have a C6. Looks like a Grand Sport. I almost mistaken this as the Z06, but it doesn't have the white body. The Lucy looks really nice. And I always wanted a C6 Grand Sport, but since we have the C7 right now, so I have to move forward. But yeah, this car is beautiful. I also have another Porsche here in my favorite red color. My friends are just left. And of course, the Grand Sport looks pretty aggressive compared to the regular C6. And also have the Porsche over here with the center exhaust. And it's a spider. Right, we also have a S4 showed up in a red color next to the yellow C8. And we also have a white 911 here. <laughs> Looking pretty good. And we also have all the Beamer crews here. And I also noticed a couple more. Looks like we have a, another E92 M3 with another E92 M3. This one has, looks like he has a, a roll cage with Ricardo seats and a wing. And also have a red E92. This one's really clean. Love the BBS wheel. Looks like he got the stop tech brake pads. It's got the DCT on this one. Wow, definitely my favorite generation. Wow, it's very cold today. I did not expect to see so many Beamers here. Uh, turns out one of our friend is leaving Bay Area. He's heading to uh, Orange County. So this is like a farewell cruise. And man, I just love those E92 M3, beautiful cars. 
well the CA is leaving and unfortunately the owner showed up and asked the all of our Bima friends to leave the parking lot um, yeah, so if you are coming to Arises, make sure you find a good parking spot, either on the restaurant side or by the street. That's why I parked it over there because I knew you cannot ask someone to leave on the public street. But anyone, they are moving right now. Sounds pretty, pretty insane for them to. the M4 and the E92 M3 <laughs> looks like our all the E92 M3s are leaving We also have a Hellcat here, but check it out. We have E36 323S. That's actually exactly the same car I had when I was in college. What a small world! All right, so this is my favorite sandwich here from the Trading Post. It's a pretty nice place to do car spotting. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. It's very chill outside, and the sandwich is really good. That's my favorite chicken panty sandwich from the Trading Post across from Alice's restaurant. And today, there are not too many cars, but still a lot of Beamers and Porsches. Uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's end today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you, if you guys ever want to cruise to Alice's, drop a comment below. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.